Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your hosting Enforcer, and we're going to be revisiting Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, uh, and I'm going to be going over a, a way on how to mod the game in a much easier uh, format, and also how to install reshade and place a ray tracing uh, global illumination shader by Pascal Glitcher on top of that and get the game looking real nice and neat. Um, shout out to General Tantor for the installer, for the mods, and also to uh, old games reshade for the um, preset that we're going to be using uh, today. So I'll leave a link to both of their channels down below so you can go check them out. Head over, subscribe, show some love, and let's go ahead and get started. I have my game installed through Steam, and we're going to head over to the browser. Here we have Mysteries of the Sith. The uh, remastered installer is right here. So I have to do is install it, or download it rather, rather. and then uh, there's also a icon pack you can download as well. It's optional, but it's there for you. You also need to get Reshade, go ahead and click that, download the latest version of Reshade, and pass with Glitcher, his Patreon page here. You need to be at least a $5 a month donor or subscriber uh, to his Patreon in order to gain access to his Patreon section in his Discord so you can get access to the Ray Tracing Reshade GI Shader. And once you have all that downloaded, uh, as far as this goes, go ahead and download the latest version, obviously. I also grab Regrade, the latest version of the Regrade. Uh, latest right now is Beta 11, and then I also have Fiscal DOF Beta 0.4 as well. So once you have all those downloaded, I'm going to hop over and we're going to Install the mods, reshade, and the ray tracing global illumination shader, and then we're going to configure it. All right, so I'm in my mods folder right now. We're going to go ahead and run this Jedi Knight, sorry, run the Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith remaster. Make sure you're running the right one. Um, so we're going to double click there. We're going to run this file right here. And it's going to bring up an installer for us. I just see it's it's put together very well. Go ahead and click next, next, I agree, next, very basic. And then we want to point it to where our game is installed. Mysteries of Sith is installed. Mine is in the F drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. There we go. And I'm going to click next and then start. And it's going to install everything we need and uh, I'll be back when it's done. All right, so it's just completed downloading. So we're gonna go ahead and click next and then exit. All right guys, so I have got my Mysteries of the Sith folder open over here, as well as my mods folder open over here. One thing we need to do is we need to make sure this inject file here, that we're running it as an administrator. So go to properties, compatibility, and make sure run this program as an administrator is checked. Once that's done, click OK. Kind of minimize these windows. And then with the installation, it's added these four uh, shortcuts to your desktop. You've got a configuration guide. You've got the actual game here, the configuration file that we'll mess with here in a minute, and then an uninstallation guide as well. Uh, go ahead and look through the uh, configuration guide. Uh, it's good to... Um, just look through it for yourself. I'm going to be going over most of everything for you anyway, but it's good just to look through it for yourself. Uh, this configuration file, go ahead and right click it. I'm going to show more options, edit with Notepad. I'll leave a link for that, that uh, program in the description below. It's going to open it up here. We need to make sure our resolution is set. So we need to make sure it's 1920 by 1080, at least for me. That's my resolution. It'll be something else when you first open it up, but. Um, just go ahead and highlight and change it to your desired resolution. And then the HUD scale down here, it'll be 1.0. Go ahead and bump that up to 2.0. So just change the two there to a one. And then if you're going to be using the um, Pascal Glitcher uh, ray tracing global illumination shader uh, with reshade, you'll want to delete this all this anti-aliasing right here. If you're not going to use it, don't mess with it. Just leave it in. You'll be fine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I'm going to be using that uh, ray tracing global illumination shader 
Now, the other thing before you save and close out of here, let me go ahead and open the file location. You want to make sure that you pick one of these, one of these two files right here, either the 120 or the 100. Um, 120 for me, I mean, it's it's going to be fine. I think it's a little too, uh, a little too much. So I'm going to pick the the 100 here. You just copy, come over here, and then highlight what's ever right here before the .exe, and then click uh, paste. And then once that's done, you're going to click save, and you're good to go. You're golden. Uh, once that is complete, we can go ahead and run the game. So just double click the icon here and let it launch the game. Uh, click, pick a uh, player or click new player if one's not here. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. We're going to go into Setup, go into Display. I want to make sure that Enable 3D Acceleration is turned on. You also want to make sure that back buffering and system memory is turned on as well in this view size. You want to make sure the view size is one tick before max. So you can drag it all the way up to max and then just go back one and that should be fine. Click OK. OK. Let's go ahead and run the game real quick and make sure it's running. And here we are. We are in the game. So now we need to install reshade and get all that going. So we're going to go ahead and back out of the game and do that now. Hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, we have the Mr. of the Sith folder here, and then my mod folder. We're going to go over to the my ray tracing or reshade folder rather, and we're going to install reshade to uh, 5.2.1. That's the latest version. Double click it. We're going to browse, browse for our game, Mysteries of the Sith. Here's the folder, and you want to uh, place it over the inject file. Click that, click OK. Next, you want to do Open GL. Click Next, Skip, Uncheck All, Check All, and Next. And now it's going to install all those shaders into our game directory. I should finish up here in just a second. It is done. And then there's also going to be a, a preset download and a D input download down below. Go ahead and grab both of those. We're going to need those. So in the preset, just go ahead and grab the RTGI preset, copy it, paste it in the directory, as well as the D input. Uh, so it'll be the D input .dll file. Copy that, place that in there. And what that what that D input .dll file does is allows you to mess with uh, reshade the settings without the game uh, reacting to what you're doing. So you can actually open up reshade and uh, you won't have to worry about your weapon going off or moving around in the game with that um, with that overlay uh, option menu open. So now we're going to install the ray tracing global illumination shader. Um, so go to that, open it up. We're going to come over here to our Ministry of the Sith folder, the reshade shaders folder, open that up. We're going to copy the shaders and textures and paste them right in there. Also, regrade, open that up, copy shaders, paste, replace. Depth of field, open that up, shaders, copy, paste, and replace. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, we should be good to go in game and configure reshade. So we'll do that now. All right, guys, so once you're in game, uh, you'll see the top overlay right there. Go ahead and hit home. You're going to skip tutorial. And then right here, click this little arrow button. And it will implement the preset that we have. Now what we need to do, we need to go down to display depth. And we need to go ahead and right here, click that. I'll turn that on. And we need to edit the global processor definitions. Go ahead and click that. First one right here, we're going to change to 413.8. This uh, upside down, you want to turn that zero into a one, and we're going to add a couple of them. We're going to add reshade underscore depth 
underscore far underscore plane. And that's going to be 0 0.1. We're going to add one more. And that's going to be pre shade underscore depth underscore multiplier. And that's going to be 2.000. And then just click right there. It's going to reload everything for us. And then we can uncheck that. And then the last thing you want to do is come over here to add-ons. You want to make sure you copy depth buffer. And you don't have to do this. I do it anyway. But um, click that as well. And then we'll hit home button. And as you can see, there's a shine to the gun now. There's a shine to the floor. And we can move around and play this game with everything running and the game looking real nice. Get down here to get these guys. There we go. Always preferred that over the uh, first gun that you get. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you install the mods. That's how you get the ray tracing shader going and reshade going. Uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you know when I upload new def uh, <laughs> new definitions. So you know when I upload new videos. And uh, comment down below with any questions you have, any comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. You guys take care later.